make roster and search for more offense. As the 2018 fantasy baseball season approaches, we take a look at the biggest news and storylines from each club. We'll feature one team each weekday. And we'll finish up on February 16th, the first day all teams will have their pitchers and catchers on the field for workouts. Series Index Schedule for all 2018 team previews Just two years ago, the Blue Jays had the highest scoring offense in baseball. But age, injuries and free agency have taken their toll, dropping the Jays into the bottom five. For fantasy owners, the output was even worse with next-to-last rankings in batting average and stolen bases. However, a few off-season acquisitions should help improve the offense to the level where the pitching staff is. 2017 at a glance record, 76-86. Fourth in at least hitting, 26th, 4.28 R-G pitching, 14th, 4.42 Era Park Factor, scoring, 21st, 0.946 Park Factor, HR, 21st, 0.923 Arrivals of Rantel Greich Uke of Curtis Granderson 2B slash SS slash 3B Andrevis Solard Greich Uke has always hit for power, but his occasional slumps would get him benched in St. Louis, where he never played in more than 132 games. He should be the everyday right fielder in Toronto and hit in a run producing spot. There's 30 homer upside if he stays healthy. Granderson, 36 will start against right-handed pitchers, providing solid on-base skills and occasional extra base power. Solard gives the Jays another option at middle infield, since Tevin Travis and Troy Chulowitzki have so much trouble avoiding the disabled list. Players to watch 3B Josh Donaldson 1B Justin Smoke SP Marcus Stroman Donaldson missed more than five weeks with a calf injury early last season but made up for lost time by hitting .276-372-606 with 24 homers after the All-Star break. His full season numbers weren't overwhelming, but he's still at the top of his game. Smoke finally delivered a breakout season at age 30, hitting 38 homers and driving in 90 runs. The switch hitter said that he was more mental than mechanical, but a career-low strikeout rate, 20.1% and a guaranteed spot in the lineup didn't hurt. Stroman doesn't get a ton of strikeouts, 7.3k-9, and he allowed exactly one hit per inning in 2017, but he still managed to win 13 games and cut his error by more than a full run to 3.09 thanks to an extreme ground ball profile. Sleepers SP Aaron Sanchez DH Kendry's morale's due to repeated blister problems and ligament damage in his middle finger. Sanchez only made eight starts last season. But he has a clean bill of health entering spring training and his outstanding 2016, 15 2, 3.00 era, to give him inspiration. Don't overlook him. Morales won't go high in drafts because he's only eligible at DH. But he'll put up solid counting stats and hit 25 30 homers. Bullpen closer, Roberto Osuna next. Ryan Tipra Osuna missed some time after revealing he was suffering from anxiety issues. However, his skills are outstanding, 11.7k-9, and he's never hit a whip above 1.00 in his three major league seasons. Tipra was second on the team in saves last season with two. Where he did excel was in tie games and high leverage situations. He led the bullpen with seven wins. Position battles look for a fairly strict platoon of Granderson versus RHP and Steve Pierce versus LHP in left field. Both hit opposite hand pitchers well. Solert could be challenged at second base by Travis once his knee is fully healthy, or by former Cardinal Aldemis Diaz. The fifth starter spot is up for grabs. Joe Biagini made 18 starts but pitched to a 5.34 era and led the team with 13 losses. Lefty Ryan Borutsky, 23, worked his way up from high A to class AAA last season, and could be in the mix. Prospects 3B Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Asespo by Chet Guerrero, 18, may be the best prospect in the minor leagues right now. He slashed .323 slash .425 slash .485 with 13 homers in 119 games at two class A levels. 
Unlike his Hall of Fame father, Vlad Jr. also showed some serious play discipline, with more walks than strikeouts. Another second-generation ball player, by Chet, 19, destroyed the same two class A levels with Guerrero. He was even more productive with a .372-427-591 line, 14 homers and 22 steals. Those two could be a fearsome left sign of the infield for a long time, perhaps as early as 2019. Projected batting order 1. LF Curtis Granderson 2. 3 B Josh Donaldson 3. 1 B Justin Smoke 4. DH Kendrys Morales 5. RF Randall Greich Uk 6. 2 B Yandrovis Solert 7. SS Droit Ulowitzki 8. C Russell Martin 9. CF Kevin Pillar projected rotation 1. RHP Marcus Stroman 2. LHP JA Hap 3. RHP Marco Estrada 4. RHP Aaron Sanchez 5. RHP Joe Biagini 